And he says, I work as an air traffic controller. This means that I'm sitting in one position for up to two hours at a time and I cannot move about. The screens I'm looking at are not at a good height and are not adjustable. What would, yeah, what would a good sitting posture be? And does the sock doc, that'd be you, have any suggestions for mobility exercises to do to counteract all that sitting? Also, he says, he suffered a C6 fracture last year and things have stiffened up quite a bit since then. So he must be a, he must be an air traffic controller at like one of these remote Siberian prisons where the train delivers supplies like That's once what I'm thinking. Like, like once a quarter That's what every I'm few thinking. months <laughs> and nothing like everything's stabilized. Nothing moves and he's the only one. And on he's not allowed to move either. No, like maybe two keys not. the whole time. I don't know. Well, no, no planes would be coming by. <laughs> Wow, this is rough. <laughs> I mean, it's a hard question. I think he should change change the the prison the prison that he's working at. <laughs> so All barring right. that, barring that, let's say he can't. He's stuck there, which he is. Uh, you know, I always tell people you fix what you can fix. You know, if if you're able, if you have to commute an hour to work and you can't change that, then you fix your diet and you fix you know your activities and that sort of thing. This is clearly a time where he's having trouble. He can't fix his work environment. So obviously he's in two hour shifts. He said right. So the the time that he's off which sounds like maybe 30 seconds where he's working. <laughs> he gets to walk around out the cooler one time and come back. Uh, he would want to do as much motion as he can. You know, hopefully he can go barefoot there or even be barefoot at his desk and maybe have like a, a ball, like a lacrosse ball or mm -hmm. some, you know, where he can roll his foot and just get some motion in his connective tissue. Even though you're only rolling your feet, it might help your whole back too because all that stuff is, is connected. He can obviously, he can't move his computer screen, but he could move his chair a little bit, uh, maybe lower it or raise it so he's not as strained, um, you know, and, and you know, do some wrist mobility issues. Uh, do some do some fin dips, as we fin learned. Dips. Yeah, if you don't know what those are, look them up. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, he could he could do things like that and just move as much of his body, you know, neck rotation, circular rotations, that sort of thing, as much as he can to get him by such a uh, a, a lacking a movement lacking environment that he's in. That's so a tough one. Yeah, there's basically nothing to do while he's sitting there. Except yeah, for and, and even though, of course, I was joking at the middle and at the beginning because I'm sure he's probably in Croatia rather than Siberia or someplace <laughs> like that. You know? But, uh, you know, I mean, this is a place where, I mean, sometimes people just have to change their jobs. I'll see, I'll see people work, uh, you know, like third shift or like nurses and doctors who are on like these shifts where they work, you know, uh, eight o'clock at night to eight o'clock in the morning, which is not only a long 12 hour shift, but it's, it's not based off our the own wrong body. 12 it's the wrong 12 hours. Right. And sometimes people just can't get better. You know, they, they, their bodies can't handle that or they can't handle it a certain amount of time. Everybody has a breaking point. And yes, some people have to change their job, hmm. and that's all there is to it. So if you can't if you can't get better with what you got going on, especially with a C six fracture mm -hmm. or that he had, and maybe he can find a therapist to help him with that. Uh, if he's always in a bad position, that's just constantly aggravating the fracture. Fracture it will always bother him. Hmm. And then, well, I mean, what kind of quality of life is that? We'll leave that to Andy. Good luck with that, Andy. Yeah.